is historic. Murphy's Hotel had been placed in the National Register of Historic Places. Nice. Wow. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? So, first name is? Kanitha. Kanitha. Nice Gorgeous to meet name. you. Is it always that busy out there? Um, we usually do get pretty busy on the weekends. Incredible. Um, we have about 16 tasting rooms just within walking distance of the hotel. I love how historic this place is. But have you not updated the furniture since 1850? Bloody hell. My God, it's like going to your grandma's funeral. My God. <laughs> There definitely is a difference between historic and then tacky and old. What we have is definitely tacky. Looks like someone's died in those chairs. So you've been here for a long time? About a year and a half. And what's wrong with the place? Um, well, management, the owners. The hotel is owned by three guys. They're in their early 30s. There's Kevin, Joel, and Brian. And they really like to use the hotel as their playground. Okay. Um, partying, drinking, giving lap dances to the bar patrons. So, uh, so we just, uh, there's lap dance. Lap dances while they're bartending. The owners, that they continue partying and giving lap dances in the bar and acting how they've been, the place is just going to keep going downhill. We put you in the presidential Ulysses S. Grant room. This is the actual bed that President Grant slept in, except for the mattress. We did get rid of that. What's the glass box for? Um, this is our display room. Display room? Yes, so guests and customers can come up and take a look. When were these last um, replaced? Dreadful. Um, oh, shit. I can't really tell you that. Uh, it sounds like I'm in a museum. So am I a guest or an exhibit? You're a guest. Darling, darling, what are those people doing? Come on through, everybody. Take a look inside. Oh, Room. Close the door, close the door. OK, we're going to be on display today. It's usual for the tourists to come through sometimes. And if a guest checks in and they just for some reason forget to close their door, they're going to have people crowded around looking at them. They literally come over and they, hello, how are you? Oh, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's like a goldfish bowl in here. Ladies, thank god I wasn't in my underpants. <laughs> Is that normal? They just come and have a look around? Um, yeah. You know, um, we normally get complaints, right. and there's really no one that handles that or takes care of it. But there's three owners. Yes. A lot of the time, they're busy bartending or drinking. Or lap or dancing. Or lap dancing, exactly. This is insane. Unfortunately. OK, I'm going to unpack. Can this uh, room be off the tour for a while? We'll see what we can do. Thank you. You're welcome. First impressions. I mean, it may be steeped in history, but it smells like the room's steeped in piss. <laughs> <laughs> 